yard. Is the coast clear? Sure, come on in. Larry left about 15 minutes ago. Boy, we had so much fun. I mean, Daddy played basketball with the boys, and they made him captain. He was better than almost anybody. Well. Why not? I was the only kid on the team who was an all-star forward at Missouri State. <laughs> Uh, Tabitha, why don't you run up and get ready for dinner? Okay. Herbie, I thought I told you to get lost. Can't get lost. I live down the block. Hello. Boy, something smells good. Well, I'm sure your parents will have a lovely dinner for you. Nah. On Saturdays, we usually have roast duck or lobster or cornish or some dumb thing like that. Well, this is even dumber. It's Irish stew. Mother Flanagan stew? How come? Well, I was so busy with the inca... Uh, I mean, trying to reach Mother that I forgot to take the roast out of the freezer. So, it's Mother Flanagan to the rescue. Wow. Sure gives the guy an appetite. Well, it's a little early for dinner. Not for me. I usually eat early. <laughs> Uh, would you like some, Herbie? Would I? Okay, sit down. You boys can have an early dinner, and then it's home for you, Herbie. You'd have been proud of Marvin, ma'am. I bet you when he grows up, he's going to be a basketball star. The reason I followed you home is we're playing the Blackhawks tomorrow. We sure could use you. I told you, Herbie. I won't be able to play tomorrow. He, uh, he has homework. <laughs> Gee, we really need him. Because without you, what's that chance against the Blackhawks? Sorry, Herbie. No chance. Would you consider some player incentive? How about 50 cents? My daddy's loading, maybe. Uh, here you are, Herbie. You know, I've never had Irish stew in my whole life. Now I know why. <laughs> you, you mean you don't like it? I guess it takes getting used to. If I had more time, I'd get used to it. My folks would get bored if I don't get home so I'll be checking you tomorrow about playing Marvin. The kid's right. It's blah. <laughs> now, what about your mother? All you have to do is apologize. Endora, I'm sorry. I'm contrite. I'm apologizing. I'm even grateful. You mustn't overdo. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Ta-ta. What do you mean, you're even grateful? I mean, if she hadn't turned me into a kid, I wouldn't have met Herbie. And if I hadn't met Herbie, I wouldn't have realized the problem isn't advertising. It's taste. It's as simple as that. Which means now I have even a bigger problem. What's that? Convincing Larry to give up a quarter of a million dollars in commission. Well, that shouldn't be difficult. No? No, just invite him over to taste it. You think that'll do it? No question about it. <laughs> oh. 